So you may be asking yourself, why are we looking at Duds' rig? And why does he have a USB stick sticking out of the top of it? Well, the answer is pretty simple. We're starting a new series. What we're going to do is we're going to see if I could take this gaming rig and make it into a Linux gaming machine. Now, no, I haven't thrown out Windows or anything like that. I still have the SSD, but I've stuck in one of my older HDs, hard drives, and I'm going to see if I can do some Linux gaming with SteamOS. I'm also going to be doing some stuff with OBS. So, watch and learn, I guess. Alright, so we're installing Linux Mint. I'm installing it on a old 640 gig Western Digital black hard drive. Uh, we've got the installation process going here. And there were a couple of options we chose. I chose the LVM, which lets me do snapshots, things like that, kind of like virtualization. Um, and I also allowed third-party extensions because, of course, I have an NVIDIA card in here. So I want to make sure I get everything I need to try to maximize my experience with gaming on Linux. And by the way, we're using Linux Mint 19.0. All right, about 10 minutes has gone by. We've installed it on the hard drive, and this is our first boot. Let's see what happens. All right. A few things we did. We set up a snapshot, that kind of thing. That's all stuff you guys probably know. But in the, con in the context of gaming, this is the first thing that we really had to worry about, and this is... Uh, we went into Driver Manager in Linux Mint, and we see that we have an NVIDIA driver. Now, I have a GTX 970. I want to use the NVIDIA driver. So I've selected it. I'm going to apply the changes. Because I'd rather have NVIDIA's drivers than the open source, especially if I'm going to be doing gaming. Because they should be optimized for gaming, and NVIDIA's been doing Linux drivers for at least 10 years now. So, let's let that happen. Alright, after the driver installed the NVIDIA driver, we were asked to restart, so now we're looking at this. It's weird, because I rarely get asked to restart in Linux, but okay. Let's see what we get. Alright, <clears throat> if you're a Linux uh, veteran, this stuff is probably boring as hell, but... We've installed the NVIDIA driver, it came up, looks good. And now we're installing updates to Linux Mint. And once that's done, we'll move on from there. All right. I know this has like been an hour since I started this, but you've seen it in about all of maybe three minutes. The first thing I'm going to do so I can stop taking these shot screenshots off my phone is install BO Studio, which happens to be available in the software manager. Now, uh, as you saw, I updated the uh, Linux Mint latest versions. The other thing I've done is I've installed uh, extra audio codecs, things like that, because uh, that could come into play, especially some, some games use certain audio codecs, that kind of thing. So I want to make sure I have everything I need. But the first thing I'm going to do is install OBS Studio, because, of course, I'm a streamer, and I like to capture game footage, and OBS Studio is something I know and probably the best package to do it in. So let's do it. I got this through Software Manager. All I had to do was search for OBS, and there it was. Let's see. And let it install all its stuff. Yes. All right. I'm going to put in my super secret password here. Monkey123. That's not really it, but somebody will believe it. Anyway. Back soon. Well, okay, you can see I've got OBS installed. That was just a, uh, just looking it up, like I showed you in there. It was available in the package, and this is the package manager, software manager. So there we go. We have OBS installed. Now I can capture my screen, which is exciting in itself, I know. But we didn't build this rig just so we could capture desktop videos and infinite OBS preview screens, did we? No, no, no. Let's see about finding ourselves 
a version of Steam. And I'm going to do that without trying to not go to the command line. I could do the apt-get and all that stuff. But let's see if we can do it an easier way. Remember, we're gamers, not necessarily uh, IT pros. So if we can keep things in, uh, simpler, then we're going to do it. Oh, look at that. There it is right there. Let's go ahead and install Steam. This is the moment of truth here and let it install its additional stuff. Put in my super secret password because of course we don't want anything installed that isn't supposed to be installed, do we? Some other stuff I've installed, I've also, if you look down here, I've also installed Dropbox. That was also available in the software manager. Linux is a heck of a lot easier than it used to be, guys. I'll tell you that much. It used to be you had to search through miles and miles of, of stuff just to try to get something that looked like what you wanted. This whole software manager, kind of like the Windows Store thing or the iOS stores, that kind of stuff, this is nice. This is a lot easier. Yeah, there's still times and some stuff out there that isn't going to show up in this manager, but you just update a repository. Maybe you got to do a nap get. Who cares? You know. For the most part, most of what you want is going to be here. And this is the thing. This is what I want, the seamless experience in Linux. You know, I want this to be just like Windows, if it can be. Okay, looks like we've got it. Let's go ahead and launch Steam. And it's updating. And we're going to see in my library what I have uh, Linux versions available for. We're using, by the way, we are using Linux Mint. So, this is 19, I think 19.1, I'm not sure. I think it's Tessa version is what it is. And we're all updated, everything's been updated here. In fact, it's been up, it updated faster than any Windows machine I ever had. But, I am truly curious about this. All right, so we've installed it, it's updates. Let's log into our account. And everybody knows that I'm Dud's friend. Put in my super secret password there. I like to remember it. Okay, so I did that. So I've got two-factor authentication on this, so. All right, so we're at my Steam client. I don't care about my friends. All right, let's see what we have access to. Okay, we could, uh, an easier way to figure out what works and what doesn't is, we can just kind of filter on SteamOS and Linux, the games that work with that. So we've got, I've got 38 games here that will work with Linux. Ooh, Saints Row 4 will work with Linux, interesting. Let's see, the Stick of Truth, unfortunately, the newest one doesn't work, but maybe they'll port it eventually. Dota 2, Dirt Showdown, Company of Heroes 2, interesting. Borderlands, the pre-sequel, that's cool. Bioshock Infinite, interesting. So let's see, the Metro games work. Overlord, of course, Pac-Man works, right? Rocket League works. Torchlight 2, okay. What do we want to install? Hmm. Okay, I've, I've taken about 30 minutes to figure out what I want to install, what would be the best overall kind of test of this, and I think I'm going to do Borderlands the pre-sequel, which, oof. That could take a while, but let's do it. Because I'm real curious to see how a game like that looks like. Because that was a triple-A title. So, now yeah, we got a little time here, guys. All right, so it's not going to take as long as we thought. 4.2 megabytes a second. On my crappy connection, that's pretty much standard. Same as Windows, so... So far, so good. 
All right, so we've downloaded and installed Borderlands the pre-sequel. So, let's see what happens when we try to play it. These are the guys who did the port. Okay. Looks pretty good. Got some explaining to do, Tiger. Trained from childhood as an Atlas assassin with over a thousand successful jobs to your name. Damn near killed my two best men before they brought you in. She said we're her best men. That makes me feel good. <laughs> Ow. Here's how it is, Athena. I'm gonna ask you a single question, and if I don't like your answer, you will die. Aim at the prisoner. Now, I will ask you this only once. Why? That is a long story. After the fall of General Knox, I wandered Pandora as a hired gun. One day, I received a job offer from a low-level Hyperion programmer. Come to the moon, it said. Hunt a vault, be a hero. I didn't trust Hyperion, but I was too hungry to pass up a paying job. And what did you find? Violence. Insanity. Well, at least the cutscenes work. A hero. Hello, Vault Hunter, and thank you for answering Hyperion summons. Unfortunately, the Helium Space Station is currently under attack by insane Dome military forces. Please take this Echo device. Now follow me. I can take you to your contractor liaison. Me, Rodgers. Lady could use 
some work, but any for effort. Sorry about the mess. Things got really hairy once the Lost Legion attacked. This is the first time I'm playing a AAA title on Linux. belongs to the Lost Legion. Surrender before it is too late.
let's go. This is kind of exciting. Yeah. Our story just began with us getting off a bus. This sounds all explosive and stuff. Stop complimenting the prisoner. Let's get to the moonshot up there. Let me get the elevator. Okay, so that's uh, what it's like to play uh, AAA on Linux, eh? Different. I'll have to do some little tweaks though. That's a little jumpy, a little weird, but all in all, pretty good. Well, we'll see you around. We'll have more to, to say about this, I'm sure. Duds out.